I wanted to do a quick video and kind of show. Um, I bought this 1990 AX15 uh, used off a of, uh, Craigslist. The guy was pretty cool that I bought it from. He's uh, pretty reputable. Um, he basically told me, yeah, it worked fine. Um, drained the oil and stuff on it. <clears throat> Saw some little bit of brass in the oil. So we took it apart just to be safe. So I ended up buying a, um, a bearing and seal kit. If I had to do it over again, what I would have done is bought a bearing, seal, and uh, synchro kit because... And just taking it apart, <clears throat> I could have changed these synchros here, here, and the fifth gear ones without having to take too much apart. But what I really want to show in this video is, you know, all the, you know, obviously in my taking it apart, I just wanted to do a quick inspection and see how bad everything was. And it was really pretty good. So I didn't have to change like the synchros in here and stuff like that. They look pretty good. Even these aren't that bad. Um, they looked pretty good to me actually, but we ended up pressing in new bearings. Uh, but what I really wanted to mention is, you know, if you're just pulling it apart for inspection purposes, <clears throat> all the videos online talk about how you have to pull out all these shafts and everything. And there's all the bowls here that come out of here and up in here and all that. And <clears throat> what I was able to do was I just undid these two forks, this fork, this fork, and then you unbolt, I think it's the reverse thing down here. And then I just took the fifth gear stuff off. <clears throat> and um, and then I was just able to, you know, there's a, there's a shaft down here as well that comes out. But you pull that out, then I was just able to slide all this off with these two forks. And I didn't even have to slide them off. I just slid them down a little and then it worked its way over. Then I put the forks back, put the bolts back in, and was able to keep all these bowls in place and stuff. Now, there's probably plenty of people online that'll tell you why not to do it that way, and maybe I'll find out there is a reason not to do it that way. But for my purposes, we didn't have to do a total rebuild. I just decided to throw new bearings in while I had it apart to inspect it fast. So <clears throat> that's my two cents. I think that probably saved me a lot of time. Because in watching the videos of the people collecting all the, the balls that are in these and, and pulling the shafts out and everything else, it looked like a big time bandit. So that's what I got. Uh, these bearings were a little bit of a pain to, to press. I used my uh, Maddox bearing separator on all of them. It worked out good. Um, but that's what I got. Uh, one more thing on these AX-15s. So my reading is, is that um, between, I guess, the 80s, whenever they first came out, up till about, this is a 90, I think 91 or 92 is your last year, where you have the internal um, uh, throwout bearing. Uh, then after that, they go to the external throwout bearing. So you would have this on this model, and then on the newer models, you'd have the one that has the overlay shaft where the throwout bearing runs on that. Um, so you've got a difference there. The newer ones also, I think this uh, pilot bearing gets bigger is my reading. So in going through all this too, so there's a, so there's a changeover with this and then the bell housing also, because the bell housing changes the way the throwout bearing is. And then you also have a change in the flywheels but we're putting this in a 2003 Rubicon. So we went for about a 98, uh, I think on up to about 2002 flywheel. And we had to get a, the 2003 starter won't work for my reading. So we're getting like a 2002 or 98 starter also. But hopefully all the parts will work out together. I'll kind of give a little bit more in the description. Please uh, like and subscribe to our uh, our uh, YouTube channel. We're trying to get more viewers and stuff. So have a great day. Hope uh, this was informative. Uh, I didn't know as much, and it's hard to, you know, there's there's definitely information about the AX15s and stuff, but it's nice to really kind of know the differences with this shaft 
and how the throw out bearing thing changes and stuff like that. But what from our reading and from what I found too is we so we were able to go with the newer uh, flywheel and then we just took the older style clutch because of the throw out bearing. So we have a clutch that I think runs up to 90 or, or 91 or so, 91 or 92. Uh, we've got that clutch and that definitely bolts up to the newer style flywheel that we got, which is about a 98 to 2002 in there. Uh, I think it goes back farther also. So that's, hope that makes a lot of sense. And again, uh, hopefully maybe this is a good time saver for people that don't have to do a total rebuild. Take care, like, and subscribe.